but it has been such a long day but all in all it's been such a um today's been a miracle it really has it may have not started out looking like it was going to be a miracle but i am so thankful i went out this morning to feed the sheep and i found my sweet little tinkles who is a she's a dorset she's going to be two years old in october and she has had the hardest life when she was two months old she developed clostridium I found her almost dead. After two months, I was able to get her healthy again. She went on to have a little baby just this past April. She's tiny, but she is amazing. Today, when I went out to feed, she wouldn't get up. She just laid there. She did have her head raised, but she wouldn't stand up. So I instantly checked her eyes because Tinkles is very susceptible to the barber pole worm. Widest eyes I've ever seen. The widest eyes my vet has ever seen. The vet came over today to do an emergency blood transfusion. We originally wanted to use one of my other U's, Gorgeous but she would not come up. So we used Kellyanne, who was even a better match because Kellyanne and Tinkles both have the same father. The vet did say that Tinkles would not have made it much longer at all, and she wouldn't. It was very touch and go for the first part of the transfusion, but it was successful. She still has a ways to go but she's got color back in her membranes of her eyes now. She's got a little pink back in her nose and ears, but this is her transfusion. The other thing that you have to keep in mind when you're doing a blood transfusion, say her PCV is like seven or five or something really, really, really low. And we bring her up to like 20. She can go into shock. I mean, you can imagine how that would affect you if you went from single digits to double digits. But I mean, she can't survive without it. So, but I give them some medications beforehand to try to prevent them from going into shock. What exactly is PCV volume? Packed cell volume. It's a, it's an indication of their anemia status. Okay. Yeah. So if they're anemic, it'll be really, really low. Good girl. You know, banamine is is actually an endotoxin binder, and it will bind toxins in her bloodstream. I did not know that. Yeah, it's great. It's the only thing we can give them IV that actually binds toxins. Oh, Kellyanne, you gotta be a real good girl for us, okay? Does she stay awake through it? Mm-hmm. She can't be sedated because then it'll be in her bloodstream and she'll sedate her. So they have to be awake and we just have to hold her really still to get all the blood out of her. <laughs> I usually do them standing because they're more comfortable like that. But well, you know what? One time I had to do a ram that was really, really mean and he had to be flipped on his butt. Then it's probably better it's her instead of Gorgeous. Yeah, Gorgeous is a fireball. It she really is hard. a complete fireball. And big. Must have been meant to be. Must have been. <laughs> oh, honey, you're so tired. Baby girl. Oh, little babes. It's because she's in shock. Uh, they're bounding. Roly poly, Lord. Roly poly thing. Well, she's not quite got the Kool Aid blood, but it's not great. I did one a couple weeks ago. I did one a couple weeks ago that it just looked like. Not even red, it's more like pink pool What would, What did she have? Come on, this barber pool worm. It follows your, it's so flexible. Okay. I mean, technically, yes, it can. Okay. But it has a curved end. Mm -hmm. I'll show you when I pull it out. 
So once it gets in the vein, it's usually, it curls up so it doesn't perforate. Okay. Purple. And it feed through the skin. Oh. So I have to dilate it. Oh, it's not going to go. So now what we have to do is do the skin dilator. It's, it's, I think, usually the most uncomfortable thing for them. The skin has so many nerves in it. Mm -hmm. It's usually the most painful part of it. Yeah. Once you get inside the body, the nerves are not all that sensitive. Oh, so that just helps open the, opens up the skin so that the uh, catheter can feed smoothly through it. Because this is a bigger gauge than the catheter. I'm sorry, God. I told you this. Always a baby. Always a good baby. Typical girl. Now you stay in there, okay? Don't you tap out on me. Okay? Don't you tap out. You give me time, okay? You give me some time and I'll give you some help, okay? Whenever you take her, she's like, I'm a little dizzy. <laughs> no, she's not. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. know. What just happened? Okay, now, what forever? I'm going to tie it up somewhere because it takes quite a while. Or just a little bit until we get it hooked up. Blood clots in there. That's good. Just today, friend. You did so good. Yes, you did. I'm so proud of you. sheep the same blood type mm -hmm. are they all the same blood type most of them are and where I like to use the same breed and you know fortunately families they have uh, the same daddy so and that's what I was just telling her because she asked the same questions so and gorgeous didn't oh really gorgeous oh, wasn't good. related at all I did not know that I think it was meant to be That's why I asked if you found her like down on her side or anything or she might have aspirated. No. She was laying just like basically like she was when we got here. Mm-hmm. With her head up. Well, so their lungs are their shock organ. They're in really bad toxic shock or hypovolemic shock. The lungs, because they're the shock organ, when they go into shock, sometimes they start to sound really like emphysematous or fluid. Build. So the first two meds that she got were thanamine for endotoxin just to bind any toxins that may be in her bloodstream in case it is clostridium. And then the other one was dexamethasone to try to reduce uh, the inflammation that I heard in her lungs. You hang in there, okay? Hey, hello. You hang in there, okay? Do her eyes look crazy to you? They do. They did. They did when I 
What First makes them look that way? Yeah. It is, it's usually shock. I think two different times I did blood transfusions and it was to lambs and right after I did them they just jumped up started running around but most of the time they're still pretty out of it. You see how she's quivering? Mm -hmm. She's really in shock. Like, I bet just the sometimes just the getting the catheter in them and doing stuff like that you know they're mentally freaking out <laughs> and I think that it makes it worse as far as the you know, just their status. You stand in there, okay? And get me some blood as fast as we can without sending you into La La Land. Usually also give them an antibiotic just in case the donor has any kind of, which most of the time, if, most of the time you can tell if the donor is also ill. She doesn't appear to be, but it's just become kind of my standard protocol. I give them it an won't antibiotic. Hurt. No. Off of the fecal, which the one I do in-house will tell us, you know, if it's just astronomical numbers of worms, and we'll, that's most likely. And if it's really high numbers of red blood cells. Hi! Hello! Oh! Oh, really? <laughs> what do you think? This red juice tastes good. <laughs> Your heart's sounding stronger already. Kellyanne. Wow. She's not even Kind of makes you wonder if Kellyanne had some adrenaline pumping her. <laughs> well, I think she did. <laughs> Getting an adrenaline rush? Is that what that was? Like, woo! Jesus, thank you. Be healed. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's incredible. I do want those lines to sound better. Mm -hmm. Okay. On that. Heart's pounding, but it sounds a lot stronger. It'll go down so far, and then once her blood pressure's, you know, yeah, then it won't go anywhere. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good blood right there. Mm -hmm. That's some good blood. Thank you, Tony. <laughs> I will not look at you. <laughs> just right, just just inside it, and you're gonna flush a few cc's. We want to try to make sure we don't see any blood in the stopper, so you may have to pull it back a little bit. Just try not to poke yourself. So we're gonna do two more, and then what I try to do is while I'm injecting, I clamp. And this is just tied to her wool, so it should be pretty mobile with her. <laughs> this is sutured to her skin. But yes, you can jump. Have Look at you! Hi, Tingles. <laughs> Hi. Don't move any like that. I'm just trying me? to help you. <laughs> Yeah, that's all. Get you some water, sweet girl. <laughs> Aww. You need to give Kellyanne a hug later. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much for that fight. <laughs>